set. Roll camera. Sound speed. Mark, please. And action. Hello, my name is Julie Gale, and I'm the Director of Education and Family Programs at Utah Film Center, a nonprofit organization dedicated to media education, film exhibition, and artist support. The program you're about to watch is a recording of our first annual Tumbleweeds Kids Film Competition in partnership with Utah Education Network. This year in 2023, as part of the Tumbleweeds Film Festival for Kids, we had over 100 submissions of kids throughout the state of Utah from grades kindergarten through eighth grade. They submitted nonfiction and fiction films ranging from animated films, live action, and documentaries. This particular program highlights the films that were selected as finalists and winners for our film competition and the subsequent film award ceremony we had in April. We hope you enjoy, and if you're interested or know kids who are interested in submitting films to this competition for 2024, visit tumbleweedskids.org or uen.org. Thank you and enjoy the show. Hi, I'm Katie from UETN, here with Ramona from the Utah Film Center. And we're here interviewing finalists at the Tumbleweeds Film Festival for Kids. What inspired you to make your film? Um, one of the big things that inspired me was uh, Zach King. He does a lot of stuff quite like mine, and um, I really, really like his stuff, so I tried to um, see how I could handle it and do it, and I think I did pretty good. I feel um, really, really um, happy and grateful that um, everybody liked my film. <laughs> and how did it feel to have your movie on the big screen? A little bit stressful, but still kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. And do you have any advice for other kids who'd want to make movies in the future? Um, yes. Um, I just got to say, like, you don't have to be an adult and have $50,000 worth of equipment to make a movie. Like, I just got, like, a tripod and a ring light. and. Mm -hmm spent a couple hours making it and got this. <laughs> I signed up for audio apprenticeship as I wanted to expand what I could do with music 
and also just get to know more about how I could make it. I signed up because I really want to do audio as a career and this is just kind of helping further my knowledge. I heard animation and free class. <laughs> There's this really cool place called Spy Hops and I kind of fell in love with it. Some of the first skills I learned was how to use your voice. As well as like how lighting works, how to build a camera and stuff like that. Uh, I've learned to empathize with the audience more, which has helped me to draw more people in so they'd be more willing to see what something's about. I feel like you learn a lot more than you do in like you would in a college class because you get hands-on experience in everything that you're doing. It's a really good environment. It's a very good community. I feel like self-expression is like really empowered here. You're not scared to be who you are around people. The environment is so great. Everyone here is so nice and accepting and like we're all just like trying to follow our passions and learning and growing from each other. Everyone's great. <laughs> Super happy, chaotic, fun times. <laughs>
I wanted to try the hike it. It was really steep. Wow, I did it. I did a new thing. It was a hard path. Wow, I made it to the top. I'm sitting on the G at the very top. Mountains are different, and that's okay. Some mountains are big, some mountains are small. Some are easy to hike, some are scary and hard to hike. Some have letters on them, some don't. I want to hike all the ladder mountains to the top. Someday I will. Because I can change the world. By moving mountains. by moving mountains. Here are some upcoming events in the community. To submit your film or media event, send us an email at resources at uen.org. Calling all student filmmakers! The Utah Film Center and the Utah Education Network have teamed up to bring you the second annual Tumbleweeds Kids Film Competition. Join us for a week full of student film screenings, panel discussions, workshops, speakers, and more. If you would like a chance for your film to be featured at the festival, and you're a Utah student in kindergarten through eighth grade, create a short film, five minutes or less, about any topic that interests you. Submissions must be received by March 1st, 2024. Prizes and awards will be announced at the Tumbleweeds Film Festival on April 19th at the Viridian Event Center in West Jordan. For more information, a full list of contest rules, and a schedule of festival events, visit tumbleweedskids.org slash film dash competition. We can't wait to see you on the red carpet. What was your inspiration for the film? Just general things like hiking, and it's not super common, but seeing pieces like plastic bottles or garbage bags really ruins some of the serenity that we have in our mountains.
it, it's pretty fun. Got found out th about this a few weeks ago and here with some friends and won an award. It's very oh. cool. <laughs> and how was it to see your movie on the big screen? A uh, lot of anticipation, a little bit of embarrassment to see something like that come up, but it's a cool experience. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. Do you have any advice for other kids who'd want to make movies? Uh, it's, it's just a fun thing to do. Find some people, get some friends, make something, and you know, maybe you submit it to something and something like this happens. Yeah. It's a good experience. Well-trained journalists are important to democracy. I'm Dr. Jean Norman, journalism professor at Weber State University and a founder of the Utah College Media Alliance, and we believe in the power of good journalism. A partnership of student media organizations at Utah's universities and colleges, the Alliance promotes student media and journalism at the high school and college levels. We share resources and provide training through annual media symposiums and the Future of Journalism High School Media Awards. Would you like to learn more? Find us at utahcollegemedia.org. My film name is Hawaiian Homeschool. What inspired you to make the film? Um, well, we went to Hawaii for a month and it, I just loved the scenery and, and I just thought it would be really cool. My mom always made films as, um, for me growing up, so I just thought that it would be cool to try to make it on my own. Um, well, I can't. I'm going to Hawaii for a month. You can't play with us for a whole entire month? Yeah, I'm really bummed about it, too. Don't have too much fun without me, okay? Okay, bye. I guess this is my new home for now. My dad has to work while we're here. My mom bought homeschool supplies, and I think she's my new teacher. I wonder what homeschool is going to be like. So we just got done uh, swimming with turtles. It was really cool to swim with the turtles. Um, we saw like three of them. I really like this place. It's really cool. Okay, maybe this place isn't as bad as I thought. Um, a black sand beach but the black sand beach isn't really sandy it's more lava rock so we can't boogie board on this these waves because it crashes so close and like it, the it crashes so close so we can't do it there but um, we're about to so there's a hot springs here and that's the reason we're here So we're here in this um, really cool cave in this pool that's like kind of hidden behind, but it's super cute. It's a little tiny pool, but it like has this little alcove that I'm sitting in. So it's a tiny little thing, but it's cool. The hot springs was really cool, but I can't wait till I find a good boogie boarding beach. Nora, boogie boarding! about the culture. Geography. Hey, you guys see the lava? Oh, uh, yeah. And 
life here on the island. Just a few days left, and I'm determined to make the most of it. My mom has challenged me to jump off this 40-foot cliff into the ocean. I'm so scared. Your stomach's what? My stomach's flipping and bobbing. I'm up now. I'm scared to, to jump off this cliff. Yay! We're going! Going! Amazing. Hawaii is amazing. I can't believe I was so scared of missing out at life back at home. That was awesome. <laughs> Would you like to submit your work to be featured on TV? Send us an email at emedia at uen.org to have your production considered for Students in Focus. My name is Sophia McDonald and the name of my film is The Sister Sister Jinx. What inspired you to make your film? Doctor Strange, Spider-Man. Oh, hey sweetheart. That's what it is. Ah, uh, it'd be nice. These kids are monsters. You don't understand. They're not monsters. Hey, sweetheart. I hate garlic. Can I watch your phone? No. Please never let me. No. Please, Ava. No, 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 no! Don't touch it! Don't touch it! Don't touch it! All right, so how does it feel to win this award? It feels really good. Yeah. And what was it like seeing your movie on the big screen? It was fun seeing my movie on the big screen. And do you have any advice to some other kids that want to make movies one day? Keep following your dreams. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> awesome. Uh, I think we had a lot of fun. We shot it over, uh, it took about two days, two, two days or so to shoot. Um, and then uh, about another week to kind of sync some radio and things like mm -hmm. that. Put those things together. Awesome. So, yeah. What kind of gave you the idea to make it? Um, so I pitched the idea. She wrote it, but it came from our own real life of a time when um, she, when they were younger, and she would build Lego sets, and then she would come by and destroy them. 
And so um, and she's kind around. of known as like the rage person in our house. So, we, <laughs> so, I, so you know, uh, we had wanted to come to this festival and we needed an idea. So I pitched, well, what if we did what we did, which, you know, she comes by and knocks over this and then it turns into just rage fest. And so Sophie <laughs> took, sat down and she started pumping out the screenplay and, awesome. um, and we went from there and uh, shot it on an iPhone. We just grabbed her phone and so, went from there. Yeah. Would you want to make more movies one day? Yes. Yeah. Thanks for joining us at the Tumbleweeds Film Festival and stay tuned for another episode of Students in Focus. Thank you.